children we started the third chapter that is inheritance and variation and in that we saw the various types of genetic terms or what is inheritance means today we see the mendelian laws or the various types of laws of inheritance the first law of inheritance or the first mendelian law is the law of dominance today we see the two laws that is the law of dominance and law of segregation mendelian ni jave prayog kele tya time mala tene tyachi je experimental chi method vaparli ti method vaprun tyane je conclusion mandlela ahe kiwa tyala je result milala to result tyane veg vegya laws madhe mandlela ahe tyacha madla pahila jo law ahe law of inheritance or law of dominance हे दोनी लॉ आज आपण बघणार आहोत पहिला म्हणजे लॉ ऑफ डॉमिनन्स एंड लॉ ऑफ सेग्रीगेशन इन दैट टू एक्सप्लेन द लॉ ऑफ डॉमिनन्स एंड आल्सो टू एक्सप्लेन द लॉ ऑफ सेग्रीगेशन यूज द मेथड ऑफ और यूज द मोनो हायब्रिड क्रॉस दैट मींस टू एक्सप्लेन लॉ ऑफ डॉमिनन्स सो फर्स्ट वी सी द व्हाट इज लॉ ऑफ डॉमिनन्स व्हेन लॉ ऑफ डॉमिनन्स मींस व्हेन टू प्युअर पेरेंट और two homozygous parent are crossed with one or more set of contrasting character in f1 generation those allele appears or those allele express that is called a dominant and those not appear or not express that is called recessive this is called the law of dominance here to explain law of dominance mono hybrid cross use the mono hybrid cross that is the single contrasting character that is the two pair of trait that is the tall and dark which indicate the height of plant here that is the phenotypic means the phenotype character that is the tall pure tall and pure dark the genotype of that pure tall is capital t capital d and the genotype of pure dark is small t small d when these are crossed with each other first the gametes are formed gametes are formed these gametes are formed gametes what type of gamete what type of exergence gamete formation hota because the same allele then these also what type of gametes form then when these gametes are fused with each other that is this capital t is fused with this that is capital t is small t and this capital t is fused with this small t that is capital t is small t then this capital t fused with this small t that is capital t is small t this capital t fused with this small t that is capital t is small t this first form this is the first generation that is the first filial generation or the first progeny or the first offspring this f1 generation those allele show itself is the dominant that means all plants are tall plants jarus mendelni ye fun no, sorry jarus mendelni pure plants are cross karun anla tya time mala tela asa apekshit hote ki ye fun generation je ahe kiwa pahile je santati ahe ti medium swarupachi kiwa medium plant ye ki kiwa medium unchi je plant ye but he surprised he he saw the all plants are tall plants then where the darkness is gone that is that means the darkness is gone where the capital t those are tall plant that is the capital t always suppress or always mask these recessive trait that is the small t this capital t always mask this capital t always mask the recessive t this capital t always mask the recessive t here the law of dominance means means f1 generation those allele that appear those allele that express here the capital t which with capital t express itself and this small t is not expressed this capital t is express itself this small t is not expressed this is the, called the law of dominance in that law of dominance that is the, this law of dominance the another example of law of dominance that is the in human being the curly hair against over the dominant over the straight hair and the another example of the human being that is the brown eye color is always dominant to green eye color or blue eye color then this capital uh, sorry this dominant or the law of dominance which is significant mahatva ja hai why it is significant because 
cause the harmful recessive trait. Harmful. Harmful trait. That is the ghatta kasha prakarsa recessive allele. There are suppressed for nesati, jakutta nesati. Her dominance ham hatwasahi. In human being, the diabetes, that is the diabetic recessive harmful trait, are masked. The normal, the, uh, normal uh, that is the normal trait or the normal allele which suppress or mask the harmful diabetes recessive trait. Then the IOC also that is the mental retardation is one of the example of the show the dominancy that is IOC recessive trait which always mask the normal trait. normal normal
that is called law of purity the law of segregation means also called law, uh, law of purity why it is called law of purity why repeat once again because when gamete when f1 hybrid or f1 generation gamete are formed the gametes are formed pure gametes are formed that is the pure allele show the pure dominant allele and this allele show the pure recessive allele that means purity or the law of purity called this law is universally applicable why this is universally applicable because every sexual organism is a diploid sexual organism that is a two n number of six chromosomes when gamete form this this is converted into haploid this diploid is converted into haploid that is 46 chromosomes is converted into 23 every sexual organism every individual that is the diploid individual and when male haploid gamete and female haploid gamete fused the diploid organism are co produced that's why this law of segregation is universally applicable but the law of dominance is not universally applicable if you want to write this if you want to write this you pause the video and then write you pause the video here the definition or the meaning of law of dominance and some example then 